shower curtain again. Guess what, you guys? It's hair washing day. I hate hair washing day, if I'm honest. Um, just using my wet brush. I actually recently read that boar bristle brushes are much better for your hair when it's dry. So I have asked Santa Claus for a boar bristle brush this year. Those bastards are expensive, by the way. I was not prepared for the boar bristle brush prices. Like, who be setting those prices? Cause a hundred dollars for a hairbrush? Mm, I don't know about that. Anywho's, um, gonna use some new draw shampoo because obviously I'm not washing my hair right now. I wash it at night. But I actually go back and forth on that. I prefer to wash it at night because then I can just like let it dry and I don't have to worry about like the hair dryer affecting my moisturizer or you know the layering of makeup if I did my makeup and actually I do not like to do my makeup before I blow dry my hair. Anyway, so I go back and forth on that. Sometimes I do it in the day, sometimes I do it at night. I'm trying a new shampoo new dry shampoo this is the dry bar detox dry shampoo bubbles and berries champagne and fruits and it smells amazing honestly i don't know if anything can save this hair if i'm honest If you do your dry shampoo at night, you don't have to work it into your hair, by the way. Just if you do it during the day. Ow. And Shazam. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? I've been using the Laneige, the Lange, I don't know how you say this. Why they gotta make everything have a fancy name? If you want me to talk about your product, don't make it a fancy name. Um, Laneige, <laughs> Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I know it says sleeping, but I just want it on all the time. I got the Lemon Sorbet, girl. The lemon sorbet, it's so nice. I haven't tried any of the other ones, so I can't say if this one's the best, but in my opinion, this one's the best. Okay, let's go do our Christmas dinner grocery order. And we are about to have an exciting experiment. My Whole Foods tells me every day, hey, we deliver, order from us, we deliver. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. And then I'll order, they charge me, and then they'll tell me about an hour and a half later, oh, we don't deliver in your area. And I'm like, girl, you sent me the message. You reached out to me. I didn't ask you. You found me. So I called them finally after like the millionth cancellation. And I'm like, why you guys gotta do me like this? What's going on? And they're like, that's weird. Let's look into this. And it turns out Amazon is telling them they deliver and telling me they deliver. But somebody in my local Whole Foods store turned off delivery for that store so they don't get notifications when people order online. And she was like, this keeps happening at this store. And I'm like, probably because they don't want to deliver. <laughs> And she's like, but they don't get to decide that. So I'm doing my final experiment. We will about, we will be about, we are about to find out if it's gonna work, 
if they're actually going to deliver. I ordered super small because I really, really, really hate when I do like a nice big grocery shop order and then it gets canceled because I was kind of counting on it. And then I have to go to Safeway and do it and try to remember everything. So I just ordered five things and we are about to find out. I actually ordered five things for Christmas charcuterie board. Um, I really enjoy making charcuterie boards. I, I don't mind eating them. I'm not like <coughs> um, a huge cheese fan, but I do really like making them. I have a lot of fun with that. So I'm going to make a charcuterie board. Got some smoked salmon, some salami, some grapes. Um, and now we are going to go do our Safeway order. And for this, I have a plan. So I'm going to order both a turkey and a ham because I don't know what's left. So I'm going to order both and then tell the guy, just bring me one of whatever's there. Um, like if there's a ham, bring me a ham. If there's a turkey, bring me a turkey, but I don't need both, but I don't want him to get there and be like, oh, no turkeys and not look for a ham. So that is my plan for putting it off so late. Also, I just want to point out, this is a different shirt to yesterday. This one says, baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> Let me see. There we go. Baby, it's cold outside. And the one from yesterday, oh, I've got to sneeze. Oh, because this has perfume on it. Why did I do that? It says, merry and bright. I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay. Since I didn't sneeze, I'll go ahead and put perfume on. This is the Pivoin Juzo. I'm 100% saying that wrong, and I've given up on trying to learn. But it's ever so pretty. Going to go ahead and do the Advent 22. I can't believe it's the 22nd. Oh my god, this is such a giant box. And this is what was inside. Like, come on. <laughs> um, it is the Hey Honey Sweet Treat Wild Berry and Honey Yogurt Recovery Mask. Restore the appearance of dull skin impacted by environmental factors. 15 minutes to new skin. Rich antioxidant restorative treatment receiving, reviving dull and tired looking skin. Interesting. I need this. Oh, it actually smells good. Like it almost smells like a fruit parfait. Not one to lie. And then let's do, I'm not sure what's up with my accents. Why am I like, and then let's do this. Let's do that. Why? I don't know. Just be glad you're not done. You haven't been in lockdown with me for months on end, literally almost a year. Roasting chestnuts on an open fire shower gel. <laughs> a snuggly bend blend. Your Whole Foods market order for delivery by 5 p.m. has two items substituted. This is exciting. It means somebody's shopping. Let's see. Shower gel. Ch roasting chestnuts on an open fire shower gel. A snuggly blend of soothing oat milk and nourishing chestnut puree. <sighs> that is very, very pungent. Oh, it smells. I feel like I've smelled this before. What is that scent? How to use get naked, hop in the shower and lather up. A little goes a long way. Good to know. Fine sea salt adds leather. Leather. <laughs> Feather light exfoliation. <laughs> There is a very, how strange that this contains xanthan gum. Now that's something you can't let your pets eat. It's highly, highly toxic to dogs. That's why you have to be really careful with like peanut butter and stuff nowadays. But it's just weird that it would be in here. So 
So it says it's got cassia oil. And I'm wondering if that's what I'm like smelling because I recognize, like recognize a scent out of here and it's definitely not the chestnuts. I think it's cassia oil. Anywho, nice little shower gel. Shy buzz. Oh. Nice little shower gel. You know what the accents, I know. I know. Dawn is watching an Australian TV show and I'm the type of person that's really annoying. When you're watching a movie, I will repeat the lines or I'll answer them. I'm a terrible person, basically. So, uh, or when I'm watching a movie, I'll Google the movie and learn all the facts about the entire cast, their entire life story, and pause the movie to tell you how interesting their life was. But, um, anyways, how am I married? Anyways. Uh, Don's watching an Australian show. He and my brother, Matthew. Matthew's not here, but they're both watching it. And it's Australian. As I said, it's an Australian show. <laughs> I hate myself right now. Um, I have a lot going on. <laughs> I didn't finish the work from yesterday, and it has carried over into today. And um, I also have a lot of other stuff I'm trying to do, so my brain is fried. Anyways, to this Australian show, the girl said, she was like, what were they talking about? Oh, she's like, the, we the weather's nice today, don't you think? No, that's not Australian. What am I thinking? Today, my... Uh, she was just like, the weather turned out nice today, don't you think? And that's definitely not an Australian accent. And the kid was like, it could still rain, you know? And I was like, yeah, Clorinda, nobody asked you about the weather. <laughs> and, and, and Dawn was like, I think I'm gonna go outside for a while <laughs> and go for a walk. So that's what he's doing because I annoyed him right out the house. Anyways. <coughs> I am going to do my Safeway order now. Do you remember when I said this morning, I'm gonna order a turkey and a ham so that then I can tell the guy, and just grab, you know, whichever is there and get one of them. So he gets there and I'm like, I message in the chat and I'm like, hey, I didn't know if they would have any turkeys left at this time. So um, I ordered a turkey and a ham, but I only need one. So just get whichever one is there. And he's like, yeah, no problem. Checks out, gets here, <laughs> brings the groceries, and I'm unloading the bag. And he brought a turkey. And I'm like, thanks, needed that. He also brought a ham. Like, I didn't need both. I am such an idiot. I shouldn't have ordered both. I should have just messaged him when he got there and said, can you make an adjustment for a turkey or a ham, whichever they have. But I think he got confused, poor thing, and brought both. So we shall be eating turkey and ham for the next month now. Guys, I need you to look at my plants that we planted the other day. Look it. They're already sprouting. Those are the green beans right there. Isn't that amazing? Crazy. I think I need to open up these tops a bit more. Okay, so these ones are the beets right here. And there's more beets over here. So I think this one actually goes here. Green beans, turnips, and then these are like the squashes. And then clearly something else. I didn't label my plants, which clearly I should have because now I don't know what's growing where. Good times. You guys, Whole Foods actually came through. <laughs> Got our smoked salmon. <laughs> I don't know why I'm coughing. Ground beef, because I'm gonna make Louis some dinner. Then, this is what I was really after, and I already opened up and took a bite out of one of them. It is the candied salmon. They make it fresh there every day. This is the one I took a bite out of. It is just so delicious. I just can't get over it. It's so good. And then I got some 
Gusto Genoa uh, Salami. Some Tempista, which is amazing. This one's my favorite though, the Criminelli. No, no, it's Calabrese Salami. And then some Toscana for a charcuterie board. Sure,